Hey everyone, before we get into the video, there's two things I want to get off my chest. One, thank you so much to everybody that watched the last video. That would be the uh, what to paint when you don't know what to paint video. Uh, I had a lot of fun making it. Thank you so much for the support, the likes, the comments, everything else. Uh, secondly, and I feel most importantly, I need to apologize for that video. Uh, it was thanks to Real Strike Lure who pointed out that uh, the, the spray looked really fuzzy, didn't look great, and uh, we didn't say it didn't look great, but I, I, I see what they were saying. Uh, I was trying to adjust the, the settings, the balance, the sharpness, try to improve kind of the video quality that I put out, and it completely backfired. So I really apologize. The final lure did not look like that at all. Uh, the person who, who ordered it was actually really happy with it. It looked really good. Um, but again, that's not what I showed you guys. So unfortunately, I, I deleted the original video after I uploaded it. Um, I'm sorry. I, I, I do hold myself to a higher standard than that. Uh, I'm, I'm showing you guys kind of what we do to make things look good. The whole point of this channel is to make things look good. And then I released that. So... Thank you, at Real Strike Lure. I believe they also have a YouTube channel, so by all means, please check them out. And uh, let's get on with the video. Thanks again. Enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome back. Here we are, new day, new lure. Uh, I've decided I'm just going to grab a few paints off the shelf. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I figure metallic white would be a good start on the belly. We'll come back and do that. Next we have some tape just to cover up the gill here. Carbon black. A little bit of texture going on. Just kind of move it around just a little bit. Hold it off of the lure. And then you get like that faded, blurry kind of look. And then a little bit on the cheeks. I want a smaller pattern there. Up off the lure. So I think it might be kind of fun, with such a random pattern, to go over it with a very uniform stencil. We'll use our Pearl Electric Plum, and I don't know, let's put it on. Okay, Pearl Electric Plum. Well, that's fun. A 
some transparent white and our modeled stencil. I want to just kind of break up that cheek a little bit more. Same modeled stencil, transparent purple. It's all about the little details. So at first I was going to use the Wicked Apple Green, but instead I'm going to start with a little bit of Sap Green Hue. And we're just going to take care of the uh, under the lip belly part. Now with the Wicked Apple Green, we're going to build in that depth a little bit. You know, just for a little bit of flash, we'll put some True Gold. just along the side. And there's that flash. Cool. Okay, you can call that one done. Into the drink. You know, I think we have time for one more. So the request for this one was fluorescent yellow, fluorescent purple, or violet. Now, I like fluorescents. They're great, but they are kind of boring. I find them pretty one-dimensional. Like, you can't shade, you can't build up with them. Uh... So I think to get around that, we'll still satisfy the request. But what we'll do is we'll get our detail and a lot of our shading done first. And then put the fluorescence over top. Because fluorescence tend to be a little, more, a little more transparent than other colors. So let's try some Wicked Golden Yellow. Now we're going to use some um, fluorescent lemon yellow. It's my first time using this one from Mead and Paints. It's pretty liquidy. So I think what I might do is I might use some um, 4050 just to kind of thicken it up a little bit. Okay, so got the 4050 mixed in. It was basically just one drop. Uh, didn't take a lot, and I think I like the texture a lot more. So I know it wasn't part of the plan, but I think we'll use some fluorescent blue. So 
So I was kind of hoping this fluorescent blue would react to the yellow before the purple did. And as tempted as I am to go with sunfish or pumpkin seed, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what the purple looks like on there. I think we can blend a little bit better, so let's use some fluorescent hot pink. Just a couple of drops there. And some chartreuse. For those that weren't counting, I think that was two drops pink, and then 10 drops chartreuse. Get a nice little orange. But, it is lighter than the orange that I currently have. I couldn't find any lure eyes that I like. So I took a 5 16th punch, some poster board, a little bit of glue stick on the end of a screw, some pearl black. Next, UV resin. Yeah, two drops on each should be plenty. These are pretty shallow uh, eye sockets. UV light over top. And I'll keep it in there for about five minutes. Okay, get this off to the side. There's our eyes. Yeah, close up on that. The pearl just comes through nicely. Like how that uh that pearl black really really gives some depth to that eye. So here we have some KBS. Nice and slow, in it goes. Wait till the drip slow. Second one. When you're dipping, go nice and slow because if there's any bubbles that form, like from stirring or whatever else it might be, going slow can pull them off. I use jig heads because it'll help keep things nice and straight. Just a little bit of weight in the bottom. A 
looking through a camera's hard. There we go. And my folded saran wrap. Kind of push down, displace that air. And done for another day. And done. It turned out really well. On this one, really like how that, that gold stands out. And on this one, that eye. Really like it. Okay. Off to two hopefully happy people. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And uh, have a great weekend. Bye.